Good morning, people. We're in the elevator right now. On our way to go link up with Mark Bell of the Power Project. We are in West Sacramento right now. We're gonna go to UC Davis Arbitorium to go on a run right now. Then we're gonna lift and then go on a pod. It's gonna be a full freaking day. Bring you guys along. We are freaking running. The Uber dropped me off at the wrong spot. About a mile from where Mark Bell <laughs> and the squad is at, so. We're running for them right now. About 800 meters left. Nice all half mile. Morning, gentlemen. Oh, they're recording right now. They're recording right now. Good morning. Good morning, man. How you doing? Oh, oh nice to meet you. Thank you. Early morning miles. Hey. We got Mark Bell in the house, people. Mark, these are the yeah. Shamrock Shakers. Yeah. Here. Pro <laughs> Pulsers from David West. David West. You in your rhythm when you're running. I'm not. Justin, give them a try. Go, go try those out. I was I was using them for the first couple miles. Now I don't have them. I feel like I'm uh just got to work on it. Hey, you guys can say that you saw me beat Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Yay. There's nothing better than a fresh cup of joe, people. We just got done eight miles running with Mark Bell. Now I'm about to go get a lift with him, and then we're gonna get a podcast session right after. But. Honestly, it was just so so much fun just getting to chat with Mark. I mean, he's been in the game for a little bit longer than I have. And even just asking him about content and about kind of like dealing with criticism, dealing with admiration, um, I think it was super beneficial for me to just hear. Mark is just super authentic, dude. Like from whatever, everything I've seen on socials, he's just like that in real life, which is like the freaking dopest thing. Super excited to go get a lift and, uh, and a pot in later. So bring you guys along. Let's freaking go. We are at Slingshot HQ, baby. Let's go see what inside looks like. Uh, I don't worry too much about range. I just, I focus in on how my body's feeling. So Fair. I'm just gonna go to a distance that, that feels good. So I'm gonna kind of stay in this range. As and I go and as I get warmed up and the knees feel a little better, I might challenge a little bit more. Let me get down here a little bit more. Let's see what I can find down there. Oh, this is sick. Yeah, look at all the cameras. <laughs> got the triple angles here. Let me ask you this. You started running in 2020, and now, like, when you look at your splits and how you're running, it seems like you've, obviously, you've been an athlete for a long time, but it seems like you've been running forever. Do you remember your beginning stages of, like, starting runs and the difficulty, and maybe what are some concepts that you think people should try to keep in mind as they're trying to become better runners? I love this. Um, I think the first thing I would say is to, to start slow and to just like build your foundation. Everyone wants to look at what other people are doing and get so amazed, like, oh my God, how fast they are or how they're able to run consecutively or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I think you need to start wherever your starting point is. For me, the first introduction to running for me was doing the Murph workout, 30 days. The CrossFit Murph workout? The one mile, 100 pull-ups, 200, uh, 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 squats, one mile. <laughs> I did that 30 days in a row. Wait, what? <laughs> 30 days in a row. What the fuck? I, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Why? Able Wait, to actually do what? It? Yeah, 30 days in a row. I, you didn't die? I Whoa. didn't die, right? The cross. Someone game. just turned the, pod, the podcast off. He's like, fuck this dude. Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're at freaking Sacramento International right now. Just got done recording the pod with Mark Bell and Simia and all the guys. I mean, dude, the freaking episode was sick. We talked a bunch of shit about the Houston Marathon, my training in general as a whole, kind of how I got into running, and kind of, you know, kind of my journey as a creator itself. Um, dude, it was just a powerful conversation and, you know, really quality humans. And I think it's one of those things where anytime you're able to surround yourself with really positive people, in addition to people that have been through some adversity and kind of grown their businesses or grown their, you know, channels or whatever it is, um, it was just a refreshing convo and now we're on our way to LA and link up with other couple creators there I'm looking forward to seeing my buddy JT my team from cuts um, In addition to my buddy Tuan and we'll kind of get some miles in too. So a sick day in Sacramento It's been a quick trip. You know, we literally got here last night. We ran eight miles this morning We did the freaking we lifted right after the uh, run did the podcast for like freaking two two and a half hours even though there was like a nice intermission break but now we're in freaking Sacktown airport and they have this 
big freaking rabbit. That is pretty much a wrap for this video, people. I'm sorry I wasn't able to show you more of the podcast, but there's a lot of clips there. I'm sure it'll get integrated when you guys get that podcast next week. Nonetheless, if you guys like the video, you guys know what to do. Smash the like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.